So you get a fair bit with the bike, um, not to mention the cool looks. And you know, it's not all about looks though, but I'll tell you what, this is one very good looking, amazingly finished motorcycle, but it goes unreal. Um, so on the road, it's as you would expect, It's a race bike, you know, it's a sports bike. So it's it's quite uncomfortable on the road. The suspension's harsh, you know, you could dial all that out. But this isn't a road bike. Uh, this is like the ultimate track bike, in my opinion. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. So today I've been through all the different maps um, on it. So there's, there's there's a custom map. I'm not sure what's in that one um, or what MV have done there, but there's also, there's a rain map, there's normal and there's sport. And in the end, I just settled on sport because the throttle felt the best on sport. The engine is really, really strong above the mid range right through to like 13 or 14,000 RPM. Um, in normal, it, it's quite a bit flatter through the middle and takes a long time to rev out and rain it's it's rain the only thing with rain is a big spike in the mid-range so it'd actually be a little bit tricky to ride in the rain traction control eight settings plus off went through all those it's really really good traction control i don't know if you can see through to these s's but coming out of the last s i could really hold it on full throttle and let the traction control work and then go through each setting until i got it how i wanted it Um, you know, I don't always need it. I was just doing that to test it. Um, it's a really good system. It's it's silent, but it just kind of retards the power, pulls it back. It's just like applying the rear brake, really. Um, but it works very, very well. The ABS is switchable, but I just had it on two today. You can't feel it over some of the bumps, but no point turning that off. Up and down quick shifter works really well on the track at high revs. Uh, on the street, it doesn't like the back shifts as much at low RPM, but they're pretty much all like that. Apart from that, it's a faultless gearbox, nice close ratios, um, revy, revy engine. So, you know, it starts pulling around 7,000 RPM, but the top end's just stunning on it. Really cool bike. Insanely loud, uh, as you'll hear in the video. Um, really, really loud exhaust pipe. Too loud, probably needs a bung in it, really. Seating position suits me fantastically. It's got these rear sets with the billet foot pegs on it. I'm 185 centimeters. I fit in this bike just right. Really nice racy position. Down the straight, I could get my chin on the tank and see through the screen well. The dash is pretty easy to read. It's not too bad. Brakes are sensational. Um, it's got the good Brembo calipers. The brakes are really good once you're on the brakes, but it's just that initial bite and that initial feel that takes a little bit of getting used to. I'm only on Pirelli Diablo Rosso tyres today, or just on the Rosso courses, um, so not even a race tyre. 
fortunately up here there's a lot of grip anyway but uh, i mean it was perfect on them so it, it i was really surprised how much grip i was getting out of those tires on this bike today fantastic really good into turns nimble almost like a grand prix bike um it's like they got the geometry off a you know a 250 gp bike or something like that amazing motorcycle a lot of the gremlins that previous f3s i've ridden have had like snatchy throttle and you know bad mapping and and a few other things are gone on this it runs really really well um very very impressed and it's super stylish well thanks for watching check out the full technical review on bikereview.com.au don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like the video if you like it tell us about your mv and uh you have a fantastic day thanks a lot take it easy